Today, I'll teach you how you can use ChatGPT to do keyword research with the help of prompt templates from Keywords Everywhere. So let's get started. Okay, so you've done keyword research before, right? But now we can actually do it with ChatGPT with the help of prompt templates from Keywords Everywhere. So to get access to these special prompts, you need to go to keywordseverywhere.com and this is a browser add-on that you can install for Chrome and for Firefox. So the first step is to have this installed. Now Keywords Everywhere is actually a keyword research tool. So very quickly, I wanna show you what it can do. So when you have the Keywords Everywhere extension installed and turned on, you'll see some very helpful information when you do a search on Google. Okay, Keywords Everywhere will show you some very helpful data for your search term. You could see here some data. Now this data is pulled from the Google Keyword Planner. Okay, you can see the uh, monthly search volume for this search term. You can see the average cost per click for Google Ads, the competition score for Google Ads, and if you hover over this little bar graph, you can see the exact search volume every single month over the past year. Now you can also see some very helpful widgets on the right hand side as well from Keywords Everywhere. You can see the SEO difficulty score including other scores in this first widget right here. You can see some trend data for my search term over a period of time. Now as we scroll down, we can see some additional widgets. You can see some related keywords, for our search term. You can see some keywords that people also search for. You can also see some long tail keywords and you can also see some trending keywords. Now all of these keywords will have the monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, and also the trend over the past year. Now you can also find some additional long tail keywords as well when you click on this button right here, find long tail keywords for succulent plants. Now, when you click on this button, Keywords Everywhere will supply you with all of the long tail keywords. Now it found 663 long tail keywords for succulent plants. So when you do your keyword research, you can review this table and data. You can see the long tail keywords right here. You can see the monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score. Now the competition score is from zero to one, one being the most competitive. And you can also see the search volume over the past year every single month and you can even see the trending percentage okay so this is how you can do keyword research using the keywords everywhere extension but now we can do keyword research on ChatGPT as well. So log into your OpenAI account. Now within the ChatGPT dashboard, you'll notice two new things. You'll see this templates button on the left hand side, and you'll also see this continue button on the top right. So to get access to the keyword research templates, click on the templates button, and you'll open up the Keywords Everywhere's ChatGPT prompt templates widget. We first need to select a category and we are gonna select SEO. And for subcategory, we're gonna click on Keyword Research. Now these are all the Keyword Research templates right here. The first one is Keyword Strategy. So this template will create a keyword strategy from your seed keyword. You can choose from different languages. I'm gonna just keep it as English. And I'm gonna put my seed keyword here. So let's type in succulent plants. Now this is the prompt template. Now our seed keyword automatically gets added to this template, as you could see right here. Now this is the prompt template. Now the seed keyword that we added here automatically gets added to this template. Now you can edit this template if you wish, but this template was created and tested to generate some excellent uh, keyword strategy for your seed keyword. Now I'm not going to touch this template. I'm just gonna click on execute template. Now ChatGPT will generate an entire keyword strategy and content strategy for us. Okay, so the output is done and it organized everything in this very helpful table, okay? So within just a few seconds, you have a keyword strategy and content plan for your website or maybe for your client's websites, okay? So you can see here the category column. This is how all the keywords are organized. You can see the exact keyword in the keyword column, the search intent for this keyword, and you can also see the title tag and the meta description. The Echeveria keyword, it's under the types of succulent plants category and it's informational. And the title tag is Echeveria, a beautiful and easy to care succulent. And you can see the description here. And many of these are informational keywords. And there's also commercial keywords as well, like DIY succulent planters. 
And the page title is 10 DIY Succulent Planter Ideas to Beautify Your Home. And we have another commercial keyword right here, Best Fertilizer for Succulent Plants. So very helpful information that you can use to kickstart your content writing process. Now I wanna show you the second template. Click on the Templates button, and under the Templates dropdown, Get Search Intent for Keywords. So this is how you can get search intent for a list of your own keywords. So let's just say you were doing keyword research using the Keywords Everywhere uh, extension, and you were analyzing the keywords within the widget right here on the right-hand side, and maybe also analyzing the list of long tail keywords right here. You have the search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, but you don't know the search intent, right? Now that's where ChatGPT comes into play. So let's just say maybe for this uh, list of long tail keywords right here within this widget, um, I wanna find the search intent for all of these long tail keywords. So all you do is just click on copy and open up an Excel document and just paste that information. Okay, so these are all the long tail keywords within this widget right here. And what I'm gonna do is basically just copy all of these long tail keywords and go back to ChatGPT and paste the keywords within this box. And all of these keywords will be added to this prompt template as you can see right here. And I'm gonna click on Execute Template. Now ChatGPT will provide me with the search intent for all of the keywords that I pasted. Okay, so you can see right here, many of these are informational. We even have a local keyword, succulent plants near me. We even have a commercial keyword, succulent houseplants, and so on. So now, not only do we have the search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, and even the exact search volume every single month over the past year, we can also analyze these keywords by search intent. Now let me show you the third keyword research template. So we're gonna click on the templates dropdown and related keyword generator. Now this one will allow you to get related keywords with search intent from your seed keyword. You can kind of consider this as a second option for the related keywords widget right here. So say for example, you have this list of related keywords, but you want more. So we can use ChatGPT for that. So I'm just gonna type in succulent plants right here and we could tell it how many keywords we want. So we can put 40 right here and this is the prompt template. Now I'm gonna click on Execute Template. Now ChatGPT will give us some related keywords for succulent plant. Okay, so here we go. We have about 40 related keywords around succulent plant. Succulent garden, and you can see the search intent right here. There, so there's tons of commercial intent keywords, informational intent keywords, investigational, and so on. It also listed out the same keywords separated by commas. Now what we can do here in conjunction with Keywords Everywhere is copy this list of keywords and click on the Keywords Everywhere extension and click on Bulk Keywords Data. Then paste the keywords right here and click on Get Metrics. Now we can use Keywords Everywhere to provide us with the search volume, average cost per click, competition score, and so on. So this is a great way to not only get additional related keywords from ChatGPT, but to also analyze those keywords using Keywords Everywhere. Okay, so let's go to the next template. We're gonna click on the Templates button, and we are going to click on Long Tail Keyword Generator. Now you can consider this as a second option similar to the long tail keywords widget right here from Keywords Everywhere. So let's just say you looked at this widget and you also took a look at this report from Keywords Everywhere, but you want even more long tail keywords, so we could use ChatGPT for that. So we are going to put our seed keyword right here and we are going to keep the total keywords as 40. And this is our prompt template and we are going to click on Execute Template. Now ChatGPT will give us 40 additional long tail keywords for succulent plants. Okay, so these are all of our long tail keywords here. So how to care for succulent plants indoors. You can see the search intent, tons of informational long tail keywords. We have a commercial one right here, where to buy succulent plants online, tons of additional informational long tail keywords. So you have all of these long tail keywords that you can use for your website and content creation projects. Now we can also view the list of the same keywords separated by commas right here. And same process, we're going to copy this and go back to Keywords Everywhere. And you can edit the keywords in your bulk keywords data tool by clicking here. 
And what I'm going to do is just basically delete this and paste my long tail keywords here. Now let's just see if there are any search volume metrics we can pull from these long tail keywords. Okay, here we go. So you can see uh, the search volume for how to care for succulent plants indoors is 90. Many of these are zero, which makes sense because these are longer tail keywords. This one right here, how to make a succulent terrarium has a search volume of 590 and so on. So this is another way you can analyze all the long tail keywords from ChatGPT with the help of Keywords Everywhere. Now, some additional things you can do within Keywords Everywhere is uh, set up certain filters, like a minimum search volume of maybe 10, and that will basically show you all the long tail keywords within this list that have a search volume of at least 10. You can also set up the average cost per click, competition score, and trending percentage as well, so you can better analyze your keywords. You can also copy this and paste this table in an Excel document, or even save it as an Excel file, CSD file, PDF, or even print out this table as well. Now, lastly, I wanna point out this continue button on the top right-hand corner. Now, if you hover over this, it'll give you some additional options that you can tell ChatGPT to do after it generated its response. You can tell it to please continue where it left off. You can tell it to clarify the response, exemplify it, expand it, explain it, rewrite, shorten it, or even tweetify it. But for these keyword research templates, these options might not be too beneficial for us, but you can play around with it and see what types of things it will generate for you, right? So you can maybe click on please continue and ChatGPT will continue with additional long tail keywords, okay? So you can definitely play around with these buttons right here as well. Okay, so this is how you can do keyword research inside ChatGPT with the help of prompt templates from Keywords Everywhere. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and also if you wanna check out our other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thank you so much and we will see you in the next one.